A blessed day to everyone. We continue with our computation of the non-parametric statistics tests using an Excel template. The non-parametric statistics test that we are going to compute in this video is the Wilcoxon signed rank test. The samples in the Wilcoxon signed rank tests are dependent as they would be in a before and after test using the same subjects. The Wilcoxon sign rank test is a non-parametric test used to test whether two dependent samples have been selected from two populations having the same distributions. Wilcoxon sign rank test considers two different cases. The first case is when the sample size is less than or equal to 30, and the second is when the sample size is greater than 30. For sample size less than or equal to 30, table K in the book from Elementary Statistics, a step-by-step -step approach of Alan Blumann is used. For N greater than 30, Table E is used. Now we have to consider that only the number of pairs where the difference is not zero are encoded in the Excel template. To proceed to the problem, let us use example 13-5 entitled Shoplifting Incidents from the book Elementary Statistics a step-by-step -step approach authored by Alan Blumann, copyrighted 2018. In a large department store, the owner wishes to see whether the number of shoplifting incidents per day will change if the number of uniformed security officers is doubled. A random sample of seven days before security is increased and seven days after the increase shows the number of shoplifting incidents. Here we are given a table from Monday to Sunday. And the next two columns of the number of shoplifting incidents before the uniform security personnel or officers are doubled and after. The question is, is there enough evidence to support the claim at alpha equals 0.05 that there is a difference in the number of shoplifting incidents before and after the increase in security? We have here the steps in the hypothesis testing. Step one is the statement of hypothesis and the identification of the claim. Steps 2 and 3 concerns the Excel template that we are going to use today. In the Excel template, there are two worksheets that are to be used. One worksheet is for the data and the other is for the computation. We are going to encode the data in this worksheet particularly under columns A and B. And the computations will be done in the next worksheet. Since I encoded the data previously, I just have to copy the data from the problem and paste it in the Excel template. After copying and pasting the data in our Excel template, we have to take note that the pairs of data that are not equal are the ones to be encoded in columns A and B. And looking at the pairs of data, they are really pairs that do not have zero difference. So, all pairs of data are encoded. Aside from that, we are told 
to delete all zeros under the abs div column before the last below the last pair of data after encoding all data pairs to get the true ranks in the column so we are going to delete all zeros below 8 in order to erase the zeros and not to be considered in the ranking so here are the ranks of the differences of the pairs of data the next thing to do is to encode the positive ranks from the signed ranks column and then encode the negative ranks from the signed ranks column the first positive rank from the signed ranks column is 3.5 followed by 5 6 3.5 7 we have 3.5 5 6 3.5 7 and the negative ranks to be encoded under the J column are 1.5 and 1.5 it does not matter whether you encode the negative sign here because uh, the ranks will be given absolute values in the negative rank sum. And we are done with the data worksheet. These values will be used in the computation. In the computation worksheet, we are asked to encode the significance level alpha. From the problem, the significance level alpha is 0 0.05. We encode 0 0.05. And the tail from the problem, we are asked just if there's a difference in the number of shoplifting incidents before and after the increase in security. This means that the tail is just two. Now, the last blue cell asks for the critical value coming from table K. We will be using the alpha, the tail, and the end in our reading of table K. So our alpha is 0 0.05. We have two tail. Our n is 7 to read from the table K. Here is the table K from page 789. Table K, two tail, alpha 0 0.05, and our n is 7. We have n is 7. Along does n equals 7, you read under 0 0.05 of the two tail, the entry, the critical value is 2. That will be encoded here, 2. After encoding, we can now consider the decision on the null hypothesis. And the decision is do not reject. This means that, based on the problem, there is no difference in the number of shoplifting incidents before and after the increase in security. Uh, that is not rejected. Hence, this is how my Excel template is used in the computation of Wilcoxon signed rank test. Have a good day everyone, God bless you and your families, to God be the glory.